Mr. Bennett 81 here with uh, something from the past a or something from the o Ohio Art Company called the Cartoon Maker I've had this for a long time more or less uh, do your own comic strips Uh, copyright on this is uh, 1991 and I've more or less had fun with this when I was a kid plus a little bit recently as well um, there was a few other items to go with this, but over time, lost the pieces to it. And if I remember right, the package that or boxes came in was pretty cool. It's uh, kind of like the box that the Creo blocks came in. Uh, you'd use it to keep well in this cartoon maker box similar setup um, but as you can see just put the blank piece of paper in over the uh, cartoon characters that came along with it and trace uh, start off the comic strip, then you just draw in the characters. Uh, as I said, I've had this for a, a while now. A long while. A long time. And, uh,. I found it some time back. It's, it was in a time capsule, so to speak, and I uh, thought I'd have some fun with it. But in all, you can do your own little comic strips here. Uh, it's got some examples here on the back of the uh, instruction page here. Uh, top one here do you like popcorn yep do you like corn yep then you must like popcorn uh... keeps going with uh, a few other uh, ideas here the uh... piece that went missing over Tom would be uh... The clips here. Uh, not too sure what happened to them, but nonetheless, uh, it's an interesting toy to have as a kid. You know, if you like to draw, color. Still come in pretty handy. Uh. Came with uh, several uh, items here for the characters. Heads. You got one for the ladies. The guys. And uh, the guy that I'm labeled here for A, B, C, D, and so on. What's a comic strip without some talk or thought bubbles? You also have the uh, animals heads as well and uh, their bodies. As uh, the uh, 
creative guide put it just pick uh, whichever one of the uh, cartoon pieces here in uh, went ahead and got some paper here ready uh, still need some work on uh, getting the right size here cut out for this thing but this uh, works nonetheless the uh, size that it mentions for it would be uh, eight and a half by eleven. You can use uh, printer paper or suggested here tracing paper in half length wise. Just uh, close the uh, top part down and uh, more or less start drawing your comic strip and as you can tell the uh, cartoon heads happen to be seen through the paper so easy for tracing uh, had some fun with this uh, last week more or less what you can come up with and uh, a little bit of coloring as well uh, the only downside is of didn't come up with any ideas on what these two are talking about uh, just goofing off with this one But yeah, definitely do your own little comic strips here. Uh, notebook paper happens to work pretty good too. Used both sides of this one, so a little bit of recycling. Might have some more fun coming with my own uh, ideas for comic strips in the future, perhaps. Or uh, next time nieces and nephews are in, just let them have some fun with it. Till next time, have fun. <laughs>